Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. Three hours later. Back at it again. Man, I haven't done a Uber Ease boost video in a while. Probably because there hasn't been too many boosts around here lately. It, was, it seemed like it was a couple months in a row where there was like no boost at all. I checked a couple times a week and I never saw a single boost from my area. Finally, Uber brought the uh, Uber Eats boost back. It's not anything crazy. Don't get too excited. It's uh, 1.2 times, which to be honest, that's about as high as it ever got around here. Maybe a handful of times in the last, like, since whenever I started, maybe like six months ago. I don't even know if it's been that long. I think, I don't know. Whenever I started, it's been at least a couple months. So in that couple months, the highest I've ever seen the boost was like 1.4 times. And that was maybe a handful of times. So with that said, 1.2 times is pretty good. Especially considering, like I said, it seems like a... Uh, the boost disappeared for a couple months for whatever reason. So today, as you guys saw earlier in the video, there was two different time slots for the uh, boost in my little area today. It was going from 11 to two, which is when I tried to do it first. I thought that would be the better time period since it's like right around lunch time. Well, turns out I was wrong. I was logged into Uber Eats for, had to be like at least an hour and a half. And in that whole hour and a half time period, all I got was one delivery offer, one which is crazy for Uber Eats. Usually you get a ton. I would say Uber Eats doesn't pay very well, but I do also say that they usually give you the most consistent or just the most overall deliveries, period, out of all the food delivery apps. So uh, only seeing one in an hour and a half is really odd. But that's what it was. Maybe there's just a bunch of people that also noticed the boost came back out of nowhere. And those people are trying to make a little bit of, you know, extra spare change. So maybe there's just way too many drivers logged on. I don't know. That's my guess. But uh, anyways, turned, the second time period for the day was, what's two to five, which is what it's in the middle of right now. It's 3.30 right now. I turned it on again, maybe like 30 minutes ago. So I would say I logged on right around three and nothing was popping up. I think there was one order that popped up like right when I logged on, but I declined that one because I wanted to see if there was anything else. So I didn't want to accept an order that took me like, you know 20 minutes away from my house or something and then i'm just in the middle of nowhere for uh, for nothing for one whole delivery which i can't really make a video out of and can't make too much money out of so anyways i declined that one because i wanted to see if there was going to be any other deliveries i wanted to see if it was going to be like earlier today where there's like no deliveries or if there's going to be more consistent deliveries therefore give me a reason to actually get in my car and go drive and do some orders if I was confident I could get a handful of deliveries somewhat back to back, then I was willing to uh, jump on one of those orders. But uh, yeah, after I declined that first one, it was like another 25 minutes before another one came along. This one said it was three minutes away. I was about to walk out the door anyway, so I was like, you know what, I'll go take this one and see what happens. Long story short, here we are at, I don't know where the logo is, somewhere over there. You guys see it? <laughs> at Red Lobster. So I'm gonna pick this one up. Hopefully it's ready, I'll go drop it off, and hopefully, we can get some more before five o'clock. 3.30 right now, so we got quite a bit of time. Let's go. Well, thankfully it was ready for me. And now we gotta load it up in a bag, Postmates bag, and then see where we're headed to drop it off at. Order number one, picked up, start delivery. Where are we headed? 11 minutes, all right, let's go. Well, that took a lot longer than expected. 
it said like what 13 minutes away but that was taking a toll road i don't think uber pays for tolls so i went the route without tolls and it was like 18 minutes or 19 minutes anyways we made it this market is delivered let's see what we're working with there we go 804 with a point all right i'm gonna head back towards we're right next to the little orlando airport right now i don't think there's too many restaurants around here so i'm gonna head back towards some restaurants and we'll see what's next all right guys update time is 4:33. as you can see we've still only had that one delivery that was 804 without a tip we'll see if a tip rolls in for that but so far nothing here's the boost that's going on right now you can see it says now to 5 p.m so we only got 26 minutes left of that i'm hoping to get one more delivery but honestly the way uber eats has been going today it's really really odd like i was saying earlier usually you're getting delivery requests left and right and today the day i finally noticed that the boost came back nothing <laughs> nothing in the morning nothing now i've probably been logged into uber eats now for at least three hours today and i've had the red lobster order i did i got that one i told you guys about that i declined earlier and then i also had one after the red lobster order i went to a wawa gas station to get a little hydration and uh i got an order i actually accepted it it was for a subway and i was going to take it it was like eight minutes away so i was like all right you know what there's nothing else coming in i'll go ahead and grab this one i looked a little bit closer i realized the subway was in a walmart and I wasn't really trying to go to that area, nor was I trying to go to a subway in a Walmart. It just takes a lot longer, usually not worth the time, in my experience. So I uh, canceled that one, and here we are, 4.35, still nothing. So I don't know what's going on. I had high hopes, kind of, once I saw the boost was back, that we'd actually be able to make a decent video, get some decent deliveries, and make some decent cheddar cheese, at least decent for Uber Eats. That first delivery wasn't bad at all. I mean... If I had taken the toll road, it would have been, what did it say, 12 or 13 minutes away, if even that. Um, and like I told you guys, I didn't take the toll road because I don't think Uber pays your tolls. I might be wrong. I haven't done Uber Eats in a while, but uh, I don't believe they do. And therefore, it took me, what, like 18 minutes instead, so a couple minutes longer. But 804 without a tip for an Uber order isn't too bad. And an extra, like, dollar, maybe 30 of that was from the boost, so... That goes to show you, if you do have a boost in your area, I think uh, Uber Eats is definitely worth checking out. Without the boost, kind of hard to recommend because the pay is usually pretty terrible. But uh, tons of people have commented on my videos, my Uber Eats videos, saying that the boost in their area is a lot higher than around here. And they'll tell me, I've seen all kinds of comments that'll say people make pretty decent money just uh, running Uber Eats during uh, the boost, wherever they live. So check out Uber Eats. If there is a boost in your area, I would recommend hitting it during that time. I've seen people say, I don't even know, I think the highest boost I've ever seen around my area was like 1.4 times, which apparently is nothing compared to some of you guys out there. I swear I've seen people say in videos, I know I've definitely seen at least two times. I want to say I've seen someone even say they saw like a four times boost, which is crazy. I don't know if that's true. I might be remembering things differently, but I know for a fact I've at least seen two times. So check it out i'd say it's definitely worth it if you can get a pretty decent boost if not it is what it is try it don't try it i don't know guys <laughs> some days you just never know i say it all the time with this food delivery stuff you never know what you're gonna get i always think uber eats is at least gonna be uh if nothing else they'll be consistent with their deliveries but not today so unfortunately i'm stopping out five either way because i'm not gonna keep doing it after this boost is over so if we only get one delivery then that's what it is. Not much I can do about that. That's just how it goes with this uh, food delivery stuff sometimes. Sometimes you get a ton of deliveries. Sometimes you hardly get any. You never know until you go. <laughs> All right, anyways, uh, 440. We got 20 minutes left, so I'm gonna stay logged on for 20 minutes. If an order rolls in, I'll show you guys. I'll probably definitely accept it. We'll go do that delivery, and I doubt I'll be able to squeeze two in, but who knows? Maybe we'll get a super close one, and then we'll, we'll be able to get one more in. Probably not, but maybe. Optimistic, Jeremy. <laughs> well, it's 4.53 now. I thought we were done, but turns out I was wrong. Got another delivery that came in maybe about five minutes ago. I'm right out in front of the place right now. It's called, what's that, Shianti's? P 
pizza and pasta. What up? So, let's see what this order's looking like. Just kidding, it's Uber. They don't show you. Forgot about that. <laughs> Maybe they do show you. Maybe I just don't remember how to do it because it's been so long. Either way, doesn't matter. I'm going to go in there, grab this order, and see where we got to drop it off at. And I'm back. So, this is what we're looking like. Looks like we got a little pie right here, aka pizza. That's all you people that don't own them. I mean, I assume most of you know what a pie is. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, I don't know what's in here. Probably some breadsticks or garlic knots or something like that. So, mark this one has picked up. And I could swore they used to tell you what was actually in the order. Am I missing something? I guess not. Maybe they don't do that anymore. Maybe I'm just once again remembering things the wrong way. Anyway, start delivery. See where we're headed. Eight minutes. All right, we're definitely not gonna make it before five, but hopefully I still get that bonus. I mean, the the boost. Not the bonus. Boost, bonus, whatevs. Well, as you can see, it's 5.14 now. I just dropped it off. Had to wait a little bit because it's at a business. The business was locked, so I had to wait for the dude to come outside. Anyways, that is done. So let's mark it as delivered. Let's see what the second delivery made us. Come on, big money. Big money. That is not big money. <laughs> Let's see if that includes the boost, 1.2 boost. All right, how do we do this? View weekly summary. Let's see trips. All right, I guess that does include the boost, so without it, we would have been looking a lot worse than that. But here's a little breakdown. Let's see if we can get in. There we go. Get out of the sun a little bit. Trip details. This one was quite a bit closer, I guess. And most of that duration was at least like seven minutes of it was me waiting outside. Waiting for the guy to come open the door for me. Because like I said, I guess it's after hours at this business. So it was locked. Anyways, there's the breakdown. Distance, time, pickup fee, drop off fee. And last but not least, the boost. Which gave us pretty much an extra dollar. And I'll show you the breakdown for the first one too real quick while we're here. As for these points things, if you guys don't know what they are, I think it's called Uber Eats Pro. I'm gonna do a video on that soon, so if you're interested, stay tuned. Maybe like next week, we'll do a video on that. Here's a breakdown for the second one. 24 minutes, 7.26 miles. There you go, distance time, pickup fee, drop off fee, and boost for that one gave us an extra $1.34. So our total earnings for today for two deliveries, 1371. So, as you guys can see, the boost does make quite a bit of difference when you're only making, you know, a couple bucks per delivery. Like I've said quite a few times in this video already, if you're going to do Uber Eats, I would definitely recommend checking out the promotions in your area, wherever your delivery area may be. Check out when the boost is happening and schedule your deliveries around that if you can. That's my recommendation. Anyways, that's a wrap for this video. It's 517 now, so no more boost drop but uh now that i noticed that the boost finally came back in my area i'm gonna pay a little more attention to the uber eats schedule we'll see if we can get a better boost than 1.2 times next time if not we'll uh we'll try and hit that same boost and see if we can get some more deliveries in and make some more cheddar cheese so all in all not too bad for two uber eats deliveries let me know what you guys think. If you deliver for Uber Eats, what's the highest boost you've seen in your area? What's the most you've made delivering for, say, like a day with Uber Eats? Let me know below. If you got any questions or comments about anything I covered in this video, drop those below as well. I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Anything else? I think that's it. And as always, stay limitless.